You can get this. You can get that. What is that? Uh, is that a moth? There's a moth? Oh my god, I'm yeah. terrified of moths. Insects. Oh. oh. Hello, this is Evil Uno in a bathrobe. And this week we are in San Antonio, Texas for a live AW Dynamite and a taped AW Dark Elevation and Rampage. Also, right after this, I'm jumping to the Alamo. I'm gonna go visit the Alamo and then we're gonna head off to our venue to film Dynamite. Who will I meet? Who will I talk to? Well, I have no idea. We'll find out very shortly. Thank you for joining us. Let's go. Ah, what a beautiful night. What a beautiful night. Oh, hey! Hey, look! It's my good friend Dan Housen. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Ah, pretty good. Pretty good. I, I have some questions for you. Okay. First of all, Fire them off. why would you wear such a dark, long, thick coat? This is a thick it is coat. Thick. Feel it. Feel it. My God, that's like triple layered. Oh, yeah. Why would you do this in Texas? Well, well because you have to wear a coat. You don't want to catch a cold. Mm, and catch a cold in Texas. It's true. I, I've heard uh, Texas is uncoldable. Yes, yes, it's very good. Cold coat. It's fashionable. Wear some jeans. Ooh, yeah. black jeans, yeah. too. Yeah. Oh, yes. stylish. Absorb all the vitamin D. Yeah. Have you gotten into uh, the, 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 the shoe craze that everyone here? Oh, is. yes. These are shoes? Yes, wow. Put them at the store. Wow. That's how. I, that's about my knowledge about shoes as well. Oh, these are not more like Dan has. Yeah, so what do you think about these? Do you think these are shoes as well? Yeah, they are shoes. They're good. Oh, do they protect your foot? Mm. Well, perfect. And you wear socks in them. I do. I, I always wear short socks. What about you? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah, look at that. Short yeah. socks. Hey, we're two stylish boys. Yeah, two stylish boys. Good. Some good Just friends. Casual wear. Just casually hanging out casually in the Texas Casually hanging out in Texas somewhere. Yeah. What are they San Antonio. Oh, it's a river here. I saw, I saw it earlier. They, I was told so, uh, tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. What? What is that? Uh, it's uh, the day that I honestly don't know what St. Patrick's they Day They do a sale on pro wrestling teams, which they will be do, over they by the time that this is out. Go to the... Oh, yes, that's I, a good no, point. Just tell them to buy our shirts full price. Buy a shirt at full price at shopaw.com or for wrestling yeah. tees, either oh, of the ones. Slash you can get Dan Housen and slash what? Uh, Dark Order. You can get this. You can get that. What is that? Uh, is that a moth? There's a moth? Oh my god, I'm yeah, terrified of moths. Insects. Oh, oh. There's a moth. There's a lot of weird noises coming out around here. I'm not I'm not very happy about that. You know what? I think we've got to end this before the moths attack us. Oh, yes. Please do. Yes. Is he up here? Someone a monster man. Oh! And we start off my mask, which means I have someone here. It's Alex Abrahante. Hello, Evil Uno. Hi. I feel like we've done this before, and then mm -hmm. I wasn't able to use the footage. Yes, it did happen, yes. but that was backstage, and it was because there was a massive It was like fan, a giant wind tunnel like And it was just, us. we were like... Well, I can summarize what I was trying to say. Uh, I, I'm sure I spoke very well of you. Uh, and you do a lot of work here uh, at AEW. You do a lot of work in your personal life as well. But uh, you also do the Elite Soup, where you, you tabulate everything that we do uh, in all of our vlogs. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's a very good tool if you want to find out what is going on in every single vlog, because there are a lot of AEW vlogs. And yeah. they don't seem to be slowing down. There seems to be more oh. every single week. And uh, Alex keeps track of all of them. Uh, yeah. If you would like to follow his channel it'll be right here oh yeah there it is wow that's impressive wow that happen? my editor does it in real time ah uh, thank you Patrick. Uh, oh that's true that's true i, I know come I, on i watch you, know? I, you watch it's true i also forget that like that information is public sometimes so there you go shout out to you patrick you do a great job uh, sure do. but for today i, I didn't want to talk about the elite soup because i feel like we could we do that yeah. fairly often and you, sure you do. do it yourself what they may not know mm -hmm. is you also uh review cruise ships 
Yeah, I am a cruise fanatic. I love cruises. Um, I got into cruising about, I don't know, 10, 11 years ago mm -hmm. or something like that. And then I haven't stopped. It's just so much fun. Oh my gosh. It's like, I always say, cruising is like you get an appetizer of all different locations mm -hmm. because you wake up and you're in a different place and then you see if you like it and then if you do you can kind of go back mm -hmm. and what I love about it is that you can be as busy as you want to be or you can just be as relaxed and chill as you want you can make whatever you want so it's like you customize your own vacation and the best thing is there's always food around 24 7 so I did that at Jericho cruise for the very first time this year I've never been and on a cruise nervous. ship I, remember I was super about. nervous beforehand uh, because honestly don't like the idea of being on a boat for multiple days because mm -hmm. um, I've heard nightmare stories from other people, not necessarily the Jericho cruise, but from like other cruise ships. Occasionally, uh, depending where you go, you don't have any choice. You kind of have to, to, to go through storm weather and stuff. And I was a little worried that I get seasick. I don't right. I don't conventionally valid, get seasick, concern. but uh, my anxiety was telling me like this could be a rough thing, but I loved it. Wasn't it great? I loved it. Honestly, uh, uh, I agree what you're saying. I got to see the Bahamas for less than a day, mm -hmm. but just enough time for to give me, pique my interest and tell me if I want to do a full trip there or not. Uh, and then on the cruise ship, obviously I kept busy. I always do. Mm -hmm. Having a vlog keeps you busy. And then on top, the top of that, we I can't stand still. I know you're the same way. Yeah. Uh, but knowing that at any point I could have just laid down in the sun for like 10 hours if I wanted sure. to, I totally get the appeal of being there. Yeah, it, it's so much fun. And then you know what's cool too is even if you don't decide to go back on your own to a certain place, when you go back on a cruise, it's like there's a sense of familiarity where you can say, oh yeah, I ate at that place and it was mm -hmm. great. I can't wait to go back there. Or, oh, next time I'm gonna try this. So it's just so much fun to be able to explore different places, get to know different parts of, of the world and country. And I mean, I've been to um, primarily in the Caribbean, but I've been on cruises to, I went uh, to Cuba on a cruise, which was phenomenal. I was life-changing I love that um, I went on a cruise to England Scotland and Ireland oh really wow that was insane yeah I went to go see like where Game of Thrones was shot and I got to see did uh, it start in Europe or did you start from America all the way to I, I started in uh, the UK in uh, south where the heck is it Fort? South Wales or? Southampton Southampton oh, okay okay and then it went around and it was like one of them highlights of my life it was just such an amazing experience getting to see so much so it's not like you just go to the caribbean and go to the beach mm -hmm. there's really there's variety uh, definitely yes. yeah. there, there's miami ones too that just coast kind of the americas you know they go miami they go tampa and stuff yeah um what was your first one first one yeah because i was nervous i was like you i was like am i gonna freak out being on a boat for so many days am i gonna get seasick uh, am i gonna be i don't know concerned about all these other things i went on a three-day cruise out of miami just to i believe it was nassau in the bahamas and immediately after that i booked a seven day because i'm like this is fantastic i get it mm -hmm. and then i did that seven day and i was just like this is i, I want to keep doing this so um because i love social media and i love creating uh norwegian cruise line invites me to when they have like inaugural cruise ships oh. and then i'll just post and it's just my genuine excitement about being a part and geeking out over all the new stuff and i love sharing i've always just loved sharing stuff that excites me with others mm -hmm. so yeah they just invite me and uh i love to be able to share it and i can let you know whether it's something that you might enjoy or you can decide for yourself essentially but i just love to be able to share it with others stuff that excites me well, uh, hopefully, uh, I do know there's a Jericho cruise next year in the AW. Yeah, that's right. Uh, fourth one. And I do know, I believe it's in February of next year. It sure is. Uh, I February believe they're going second, to believe. different islands of the Bahamas. So I'm a little excited about that. Yeah. And plus, from what you were mentioning, I didn't really dabble in a lot of the different foods. Mm -hmm. And even if it were Nor Norwegian again, because I think that's who had the last one. I'm going to fill you in on all those restaurants. Please. Oh, my please, God. Please. Because I have the menus in sign and out. I didn't even know there were restaurants until the last day. I thought oh, it was what? just the buffet. No. Yes. Yeah, oh, so, my gosh. All and right. I was happy with the buffet. You were so. going to freak out because... I'll, I will tell you, they have one restaurant called Cagney's, which is one of my all-time favorite restaurants. Not just restaurants on the ship. It's legit one of my all-time favorite restaurants. It's a steakhouse. The food is just so consistently good every time that I get so excited. There's this thing called Cagney Bellies. Mm -hmm. Belly that I always say that you get afterwards. It's like you've eaten so much. Ah, oh, I got Cagney Belly. I'm so full. You're going to love it. Well, I'm very excited. Hopefully, uh, we will be uh, there. AW's roster is yeah, supposed to be on it, but who knows who will actually be on it. Yeah. Uh, but I am actually, for once, I will be excited going in. Can't uh, well, wait. Can't do wait check out that. Alex's channel if you want to see some of his cruise ships, and uh, hopefully you, we will see you on uh, the Four Leaf Clover That'd tour awesome. next year. And the ring 
first, the team of Aaron Solo, Nick Camarado, and QT Marshall. The Factory. And their opponents, Stu Grayson, Evil Uno, and John Silver. Aaron Solo swinging a miss by Uno, or excuse me, by Solo. Uno able to avoid it, the high boot, and neck breaker. And a high boot for Camarado as well. Yeah, that, oh, look at that. Uno and Grayson were looking for fatality. QT Marshall, oh, QT, <laughs> overcommitted. And now, oh, classic combination there from Uno and Stu. The sent on 450 combo. Yeah, this is his quickness. Gets over Nick Camarado. Look at Stu Grayson. Oh, oh, into the diamond cutter. QT Marshall, the diamond cutter, the spear by Camarado. Deep cover, two, no, John Silver out of nowhere to bring it up. <laughs> now Solo with control of Grayson in the corner. Grayson, oh! And Nick Camarado on the floor, and now John Silver, the spin doctor, the far leg hug, and he gets the win. Dark order! Stu Grayson here with a vlogception, and this week, believe it or not, I actually know where I am. San Antonio, 
Texas. Which is cool because I've been told it was a really nice city. So I want to go walk around. Maybe I'll grab an Uber or a Lyft or whatever. I want to go see a bunch of things. Maybe the beach. Maybe, maybe something. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just won't. Because I'm going to be here for only 18 hours, I think. So I will not be seeing anything. <sighs> I did want to visit San Antonio, so kind of sucks. So what am I going to visit now? Did you... Did you say a hotel gym? Well, look at you. It seems like you know what time it is. It's time for gym discovery with Stu and I'm Stu. So I'm going to discover a gym hotel, which I feel like it's been a while since I did that. So let's, oh, something happened to me actually. Something good. Whoa, I, I can't believe it, Stu, is that? It did. Something good happened, you see? When I showed up to the hotel, the lady at the desk, she said something great to me. When I asked, where's the microwave? She said, would you like me to send a microwave to your room? What? Yes. So, without further ado, microwave. I'm a very, very easy person to please. All I need is a microwave and a gym. That's pretty much it. I mean, see how happy I am? All I needed is a microwave. And here I am, a happy stew. It's a good day. Gym time, let's go. I'm in the gym right now. It's big butts. Cable machine. Dumbbell and a bench. Otherwise, lots of mirrors. Cardio, 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 cardio. Cardio, 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 cardio. That's it. Yeah. in my room workout is over and before I start judging that gym you may have noticed that the angle in which I film my exercise was somehow worse than usual that's because I forgot my tripod but what do you expect from me I am not a filmmaker I'm not Guy Ritchie or or Christopher Nolan or Scorsese I'm an actor okay an actor like Denzel or Leo or Vin Diesel the last one is a joke a laugh Anyway, back to my workout. Even though I still managed to do a decent workout, I did an overall body. So I did a squat, deadlift, bench, all with free weight because there were no bars, obviously. That was a rare in a hotel gym. Uh, that gym overall was just, just not it. It had space. It was big, lots of mirror, but so many cardio machines and very little weights or exercise machine. So it had potential and somehow smelled like cinnamon bun that was very confusing but i think it was a plus still uncertain about that i didn't hate it anyway i'm only giving this gym a two angry stew out of five it had the potential to be more because it had the room but failed to use it that's it uno go back to your vlog and stuff i got microwave stuff to do And that's it for this week's edition of the Evil Uno vlog. Next week, we're in Austin, Texas for more AEW Dynamite and Rampage. And then I have a indie booking in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, hopefully, I'll get to go see Graceland. Uh, all of that next week on the vlog. Also, if you want to send me anything, you can do so right here. Oh, wow. Thank you very much, Patrick. Thank you very much also to you for watching. Do leave a comment, hit that subscription button, give it a thumbs up, note your favorite fruit, and uh, see you on the next week of the Evil Uno Vlog.